I'm just putting this video together because I'm, I'm actually quite excited about a piece of software that I came across, uh, I, I should say, accidentally because I didn't look for it, somebody introduced it to me. But I use TeamViewer, or I use TeamViewer for as long as I can remember. So uh, if my buddy called me and he's in another country or in another city and he needed some help with something, I sent him with it, it's a presentation file or something. Then I'd connect to him and, and help him through it. Uh, so often, even my, my brother who is in another city, um, I send him something and he doesn't know how to work the thing. I'll connect to his PC and help him. So it's just a, a kind of non-commercial purpose that I used it for. Um, so TeamViewer sorted all my needs out and I was happy with it. So that was my only experience. Um, the few challenges that I would have when I was using uh, TeamViewer was that the, the connection sometimes would struggle. You know, if I'm working on the remote computer, my mouse would maybe stick a little bit. And I, I thought, okay, it's possibly because of my, um, my connection, internet connection, etc., etc. But I was happy with it otherwise. So a short while back, a buddy of mine contacted me and said, listen, he's struggling with doing something on... Uh, his computer, if I maybe could help him with it. So I said, okay, you know, have you got TeamViewer installed? Just send me your the TeamViewer ID and then the password and then I'll link in remotely. And he said, no, but he uses uh, AnyDesk. So I said, AnyDesk. Um, I said, what, what is that? Because I haven't used that. He says, no, at his company, they've started using AnyDesk. So he sent me his link. I literally clicked on it and boom, it just opened effectively. It, it was no sort of major complicated stuff. It, it just worked seamlessly. Um, and this is why I've, I've come to relate what it's all about and the experience that I had. Um, because I think, um, you know, sometimes we use a piece of software for years and we, we don't look at anything else. The experience I had on his computer is what made me excited and, and follow up and look at this company. So I came to the company, checked through the thing. It's a German-based company. And this is what surprised me. They got started and founded in 2014. So that's like five years ago from the time I'm making this video. There's a couple of million people who are using, using the product. And then this line also caught my eye that says a unique proprietary codec desk RT. Now, for those of you who don't know, a codec is just a, it stands for compression, decompression. It's like an MP3. The file, the WAV file is taken, it's compressed, and when you play it back, you need a decompressing uh, piece of software to play back your MP3. So it's just the technology in the compression and decompression. Um, so they have one, a proprietary one that is made, that's built into this system. And this is unknowing to me what impressed me because the experience was seamless. It was fast. It's like I was just working on my own laptop when I was helping my buddy. I literally was opening and closing windows as if I was working in my interface, which I wasn't used to because working in the team view environment, there used to be this lag, sometimes the mouse doesn't move as perfect as, as I would like it. But I understood that that was a remote um, connection and was expected to function that way. It was the connection speed that impressed me. And then later, when I went to download the, the application onto my mobile device, I discovered that the latency between my mobile device uh, onto my laptop or from my laptop to mobile device when I was connecting the two was so, so low. I was very impressed with that. If you go down to downloads here, this is the other thing that is so, so cool. They have it all for Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, Linux, free. This is all Linux dist uh, distros here, free, BSD, Raspberry Pi, Chrome OS. So I assume the link that was given to me because I opened it up in my Chrome browser was probably the Chrome OS uh, friendly one. I don't need to download it into Windows and this is the other thing that I think is so cool. I could literally be on any computer working in Chrome uh, OS uh, and then be able to connect using any desk. So I mean, because these guys are like five years old, they, they've built it on all the technologies that are out there. Okay, so that's, that's what excited me. After I connected to the guy's computer, worked on it and I disconnected, 
the system asked me if I wanted to download the desktop version. Then I thought like, okay, but I was working on a desktop version now. Like I said, I was probably into the Chrome version. So I downloaded the desktop version and the rest is history with that. So it, the experience is really incredible. Why would you consider even moving across? So I'm going to open, this is a desktop version. Um, I'm going to kind of blur out the names of my devices because being on the on the web, I don't want people sort of, you know, linking into my system. But literally, it comes up with a simple interface like this. Now, there's menus up here that you can go and click and do all the backend modification. But it was pretty much this. Um, came into this area here. And I'll type in, for example, in this case, I'll type in my mobile device. Let me just see that it's on here. I'm going to type in my mobile device, which is... Okay, so your, how am I able to type in a name like the name at AD? You, everything is, the username will be at AD standing for any desk. How am I able to type in the name? Well, when you're setting it up, you can either leave the thing to generate a number or you can put in an alias name and then in future when somebody wants to connect to the computer they, they can use text the alias name the user ID that they can put in so yeah if I press enter that's what's happening on my remote device it's asking permission now and I'm pressing on my device there we go isn't that incredible oops that's a, a message that just come up there yeah, I swiped it away um, and this is this this is whoops now let me just get out there this is the the speed that it's moving at I mean I'm flipping on my screen I'm gonna go I'm gonna count to three so it's one two flip okay and that I'm doing in real time I'm gonna flip back one two flip that's as fast as it is so if I have to open up this application look at that I mean it's it's almost in real time and I'm working remotely on my phone I can connect from my phone to my laptop and control it or vice versa. So for me, this this has been an incredible uh, um, experience. I think these guys, any desk are really, they've got their finger on the pulse of how all this is working. The, the codec is, is the main thing. Let me just show you this here, uh, some case studies. Because they're a German company, of course, they'll appeal to some German uh, companies first, um, but they, in so many companies around the world, they already, I mean, I'm in South Africa and I'm using this product. Maybe not at the very high end, but I'm using it in any case. So, I mean, top class uh, product this. I'm very excited about it. Features are, the main feature for me is the security, which is there. But second to that is performance. And you notice right at top here when they're talking about features, they talk about performance and security. So hopefully that gives you some sort of direction if you are looking in this field for something to help you. Have a fantastic day and God bless you.